All right, this is Introduction to Engineering Design. We're still working on our puzzle cube, and what we've done is we've made an assembly thus far. Now let's talk about how we're going to explode it in SOLIDWORKS. You'll see the puzzle cube that we made in the last few videos uh, sitting here assembled. What I've done is I've already made an exploded view, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And this will be the net result of our exploded view. So let's go ahead and get rolling on that. And what I'm going to do here is go ahead and delete that view. All right, going back over into our tree, we make an exploded view. We go up into Command Manager here, and what you can see is there is actually an uh, icon called Exploded View. So we're just in our default view. Let's click on that. It'll bring up a menu here, and what it basically shows me is the menu is asking me what I want to explode. So the way the explosion works in SOLIDWORKS is it will move along the axes X, Y, and Z, or another named axis, or another a named direction that we uh, declare relative to the part. Uh, we're going to use the X, Y, and Z axis in this video. So I'm going to select an item. I'm just going to select this top blue Z piece. And I get this uh, little symbol, the, the uh, tri-directional arrow. And you can see as I hover over each one of these arrows, and it doesn't really blow up for me, but you'll see that it changes color orange. And that means that if I click on this direction, I can drag this piece up. And you'll see, once I drag it the first time, it doesn't move very fast or very far. When I release it and I come back down and click again, now I've got that nice, smooth action, and I'm dragging this piece up. And I'm going to bring it up an inch. So you'll see, this is my first step in the explosion. That's good. So let's zoom back out. Let's go ahead and move this yellow piece out in the Z direction on the Z axis. And I'm going to come out uh, about two inches on this. Now I can come right in here and I can type a figure in if I would like. Uh, it's whatever you want. And you'll see that it added that to the second chain. You click on the green piece and I'm going to back that one out. Oops, let me click on the green piece here. And I'm going to put that into the negative Z direction, and I'll just start moving it. And you'll see that I'm going to keep moving it out here about two inches. So I'll again make this, I'll type in two inches. And the brown piece now. I'll roll my model a little bit here, and I'm going to come over and pick my brown piece. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and move that back. Oops. Lost it there. Go back and edit. And I'll just type my distance in. And you'll see it. I don't really need to move the red piece, but let's go ahead and move it down. I'm going to add that as one more chain. That'll be the fifth item. And I'm going to go down. See my icon highlights. Pull it down. And I'm going to keep going down. Go down about an inch. And I'm going to go one. Okay, we didn't really select uh, the subassembly parts here because there is no subassembly, but we can explode an assembly and keep subassemblies together later on when we get to uh, that step. So let's go ahead and click the check mark. And there's my exploded view. And as I roll around and I look at it, it does show a relationship. And there it is exploded. And the way, place that that resides is it resides over here in the exploded view. So I can make my default view active by double clicking on my exploded view and then double clicking again. Now it's going to be handy when we come to a drawing. 
I can also animate this exploded view. That's a little bit beyond this description for right now. Let's just work on making an exploded view and saving it. Remember, it sits over here in my configuration manager, so I won't see it if I'm in my yeah, if I'm over here in the Feature Manager Design Tree. That's an exploded drawing, and this is Introduction to Engineering Design, the 4.1 Puzzle Cube 